late 2021, a 17-year-old student of Konongo Dumasa Senior High School allegedly stabbed his colleague with a kitchen knife leading to his death after the deceased attempted to stop him from molesting his mates. In the same year, some students of Kumasi Girls Senior High School also vandalized school property to protest a decision to prevent them from going on a midterm break. Still in 2021, a teacher at the Three Town Senior High School at Denu in the Ketu South Municipality of the Volta region sustained a deep cut in the arm following an altercation between a final year visual art student in the school. In January 2022, Three students of Ejusu Senior High Technical School were reportedly stabbed in separate incidents. These and many other acts of indiscipline have been recorded in senior high schools in recent times and stakeholders believe measures must be put in place to stop such incidences. A counseling psychologist at the Kwame Nkrumah University of Science and Technology Counseling Center Rabbi Dako is urging the government to equip counselors in senior high schools with the necessary tools to help in effectively dealing with such situations. Because we are not equipped, when you go to the secondary school, for instance, the counselors are given extra teaching um, um, assignments to do as well. So they are not really counselors. They do teaching and also performing the counseling work as well. So it is hard time our educational system assign them, provide counselors purposely for helping students and even teachers, not only students. So the work is not just a small job, it's, it's a huge tax. He also admonished counsellors in various senior high schools to create an enabling environment that will encourage students to report their issues to them. Students uh, ideally will need an environment where they think when they spill all the beans, they, they tell their issues, it wouldn't go outside. So uh, we counsellors should uh, uh, be admonished that we should create an environment of confidentiality you know we should ensure that anything the student or the the case come to us and tell us we we'll keep it to ourselves because if a student come to you and tell you about his or her issue and you go under the tree with other other staff members and spill the beans to them um, you, um, they wouldn't get that confidence to come to you anymore so we are entreating all uh, counselors in senior high schools um, 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 junior high schools and in all the educational sector even the university to to, to ensure confidentiality. The Ashanti Regional Girls Education Officer Hannah Amponsa on her part called on teachers and school-based facilitators to adopt positive parenting skills in dealing with students in schools. Once corporal punishment is banned, there are other positive parenting tools that her teachers have been taking through and even the school-based coordinators too and all teachers have also been taken through. So apart from that, that is not the only way that we can correct a child. So if we also go by these positive parenting skills, it will help us bring us the children as we want them, but not necessarily taking, through, taking them through corporal punishment, beating and all things. We just have shown that that is not the only way we can correct a child. They spoke on the sidelines of the Safeguards Standout Conference 2022, organized by the Guidance and Counseling Units of the Ghana Education Service Greater Zone held in Kumasi.